Christmas, would you just chill out? It is not your time yet. It's the sixth night of Hanukkah, and I have a spooky Jewish ghost story for you. It's called The Haunted Violin. Long, long ago, there lived a carpenter of great talent. He was finishing up a coffin that he had been commissioned, and he found he had a single board of wood left over. Waste not, want not. He decided that the following day, he would craft that wood into a violin. But that night, he had a very peculiar dream. Hey man, uh, I'm the guy whose coffin you just made. Thank you so much. It's gorgeous. I will love rotting in it. But here's the thing. Don't make a violin out of that leftover wood. It's not going to work out well for you. You got it? However, in the morning, the dream just seemed nonsensical. So the carpenter began crafting the violin. He finished the main body of the violin, but he decided to leave the bow for the following day. The instrument was absolutely gorgeous, and the carpenter went to bed with a smile on his face. Okay, I guess I should have been more clear last night. This is not a dream. I am the dead guy buried in the coffin you made, telling you not to finish that violin. I know you started it, but it'll be fine as long as you don't play it, so just, you know, skip the bow. And, you know, just be proud of what you made and burn it, okay? We good? We were not good. The next day, the carpenter moved forward and crafted the bow. He was pretty busy, so he didn't get a chance to try the instrument out. So he had one more dream. What the fuck are you doing, my guy? You know, I would love to be resting in peace right now, but I'm postponing that to warn you that making an instrument out of the wood from a coffin will be very bad news for you. Do not play that violin. I, I don't know how to make this more clear. The carpenter awoke the next morning, stoked to try out the new violin. He touched the bow to the strings, but he hadn't made a single movement when he heard a haunting melody coming from the instrument. And only a few bars passed when the room was plunged into darkness. The carpenter ran to the window, throwing back the curtains and pulling up the sash in hopes of cutting through the impenetrable darkness. But suddenly, he was pushed out of the window by a force he couldn't identify. And while he landed softly upon the ground, it was no reassurance as the ground began to move beneath him. He screamed as the earth pulled him down into its depths, smothering his final breath. Happy Hanukkah! You can read that and more great ghost stories in Lilith's Cave. And I'll see you tomorrow for another Jewish folktale.